Hey there, and welcome to another Soundtrap walkthrough. The best way to learn from these videos is to view, pause, and imitate. View means watch what is being demonstrated in the video without copying at the same time. It's important to keep your attention on the concept being explained and demonstrated. When this screen comes up, you can pause the video. The concepts just explained will be listed on the screen, so while the video is paused, you can then imitate and explore the concept which was just shown. All right, let's begin with another Soundtrap walkthrough. And welcome to our tutorial in Soundtrap for making a short song. So let's check out how we're gonna do it. We're gonna start by going to the studio. And this song is gonna be different from the ones that we had a look at in the demo because we're actually gonna start straight from scratch. There's not gonna be anything there. We want a new project, so we're going to click the music one here. What we need to do, you can see there's nothing here at the moment, we need to add some sounds in. Now the sounds that we're gonna add in are called loops. And loops are just short little um, pieces of sound that are looped over and over again, and it makes them sound longer than they actually are. So they're really, really handy for making songs uh, very, very quickly. So to add in some loops, we're going to go up to this little purple um, icon here. We're gonna click on that. And you can see that straight away, a whole range of loops have come up. Now, there's thousands of these in Soundtrap. We're really lucky that they have such a large collection and new loops are added all the time. Okay, so what we've got here is a whole bunch of tags and these tags can help us find a loop that we might want. So I'm going to get rid of Featured and let's start with some drums. And there were some drums that I found before that I really, really liked. Uh, they're called the bread and butter. Here we go. Now, uh, you can actually preview them, listen to them before adding to your song. So let's click on the little preview button here. Sounds pretty good. And you can hear that it's actually just the same thing over and over again. It's not going to change. So once you've chosen that one, you like it, just double click on it. And you can see straight away... And you can see straight away that it's been added to our song. Cycle mode has been turned on, which is where it loops around and around and around as well. So that'll make your song sound longer for the moment. And let's just have a quick look at what we've actually added there. So we've added a loop, but you'll see that it comes out as a picture, which looks like a whole bunch of spikes. Now, that picture there is called a waveform. A waveform is a picture that's made of different shapes. Um, some are very large, some are small, and that's what makes a picture of sound on computers. So the larger the shape is, you can see that the spikes there, they are the loudest part of the sound, and then there's really small, thin parts. They're actually the softer parts of the sound. So using waveforms, you can actually read them. Uh, you can see here that it's a very clear drum beat, and every uh, sound has its own waveform, so just keep an eye on them uh, every time we bring one in, just to see what they all look like. And let's add some other sounds in as well. So I'm going to go some bass this time. You can actually just type as well. So rather than click on the tag, you could type bass. There we go. And the one that I found before was called classified freedom. So I'm just going to actually type that in here. Uh, there it is, and I'm going to double click on that. There we have it. So now you can see now the classified bass has been added in with the drums. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Excellent. And the last thing that we're going to add in is some synth, a pad. So uh, I'm going to click on, it was a synth sound. And I actually know the name of it, but you can go through, there's thousands and thousands of these. to so find the one that you think will match the sort of song that you want to make. make. Uh, here we go, Celestial Pad 6. Oh, it did a little demo there. Uh, let's listen to it by itself first. So I'm going to click the solo button. Yeah, I like that. Let's add the other instruments.
And if we take the skills that we've learned from the other tutorials, uh, let's change the volume a little bit because they're not quite matching up. So let's bring the synth down a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit of a better balance there. Excellent, and if we did put one in that we didn't want, so maybe we might accidentally add in number the pad number one. Don't forget that you can delete a track just by going to the three dots up here, pushing delete. Yes, I do, see you later. And there you have it. So this is just a way to make a really, really quick little song and it just kind of loops around and around. I've only picked three um, sounds here. Drums, bass, and synth. They're a good start for your song. Uh, don't forget to, you can rename it up here if you want to. Uh, you can save it here. Or when you push Exit Studio, you can save as well. And thanks for watching another Soundtrap walkthrough. If you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe. And why not check out some of our other Soundtrap walkthrough videos.